Welcome to the public meeting for the Clear Lake Road or State Road 501 Improvements Project. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. The PowerPoint presentation is available on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447085-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodlands Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R dot s m i t h the number two at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s you may also contact jacqueline paramore state title six coordinator by mail at 605 sewanee street mail station 65 tallahassee florida 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E dot P-A-R-A-M-O-R-E at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E Dot fl dot us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This project is just over three miles long on Clear Lake Road or State Road 501. It runs from State Road 520 or West King Street to Industry Road, which is near the entrance to State Road 528. Proposed improvements include speed management features, wider sidewalks, lighting upgrades, updated signage and pavement marking, and repaving the corridor from State Road 520 to Michigan Avenue. Signal-controlled crosswalks and new traffic signals are being considered, but those locations are still being determined. The proposed improvements are designed to encourage slower driving speeds and to provide pedestrian enhancements. The project includes changes to the curb line and lane widths to create a series of slight curves along the corridor, as well as short raised medians located in various locations from State Road 520 to Michigan Avenue. Currently, Clear Lake Road is a four lane road with two lanes in each direction and two way left turn lanes in the middle. In the area of Clear Lake Road and State Road 520, the project proposes to upgrade the pavement markings, keeping the existing right turn lane in addition to the current dedicated left turn lane from Clear Lake Road onto State Road 520. The sidewalks will be widened to the curb. Just north of State Road 520 or West King Street, raised medians with landscaping are being added in various locations along the corridor. In the section leading up to Broadcast Court, the medians do not block any side streets. They could affect some driveways. Those property owners will be notified by the project team. Two mid-block crosswalks are also proposed, which would include a pedestrian hybrid beacon. 
The first bin block crossing would be located between Atkinson Street and Terrace Street. The second would be located at Broadcast Court. Currently, there is a crosswalk at Broadcast Court, but no pedestrian activated signals. The new mid-block crossing would have a median and landscaping surrounding the crosswalk to enhance safety for the pedestrian crossing. This project will also construct a sidewalk from the back of Endeavor Elementary School connecting to Broadcast Court. The students can then use the mid-block crossing to cross Clear Lake Road. Another mid-block crossing is proposed at Cocoa Estates Mobile Home and RV Park just south of Ollie Street. In the stretch of Clear Lake Road from Clear Lake Court to Tate Street slash Rosetine Street, there are two mid-block crossings proposed. They are located just south of Highland Court and just north of Minnie Street with easy access to public transportation. A pedestrian hybrid beacon is an overhead traffic signal designed to help pedestrians cross by requiring motorists to stop during a red light phase. However, unlike a regular traffic signal, the signal is dark until activated by a pedestrian. Once activated by a pedestrian, the PHB light cycle begins. Here is a short video showing how a PHB works. In Florida, we all expect to get to our destination safely no matter how we travel. The Department of Transportation is striving to keep people who walk safe by adding pedestrian hybrid beacons in areas with high pedestrian traffic. At the crosswalk, press the button to activate the beacon. The beacon will turn yellow, then change to red, requiring drivers to stop. Once the pedestrian has safely crossed, the beacon will flash red, then go blank, alerting to drivers they may proceed. Alert today, alive tomorrow. The instructional video and other helpful information about PHBs is available at alerttodayflorida.com. Currently, Clear Lake Road, leading up to Tate Street slash Rosetown Street, has a designated left turn lane and only three legs of the intersection have crosswalks. The proposed intersection would have new pavement markings, all four legs of the intersection would have crosswalks, and sidewalks would be widened with curb extensions. A new multi-use path would begin on the northwest side of the intersection, run in front of the college, and end at Michigan Avenue. From Tate Street slash Rosetown Street to Michigan Avenue, Clear Lake Road will be repaved and have new pavement markings. Additionally, spot medians are proposed and a new signal is being evaluated at the entrance to Eastern Florida State College. Currently, there is a five foot wide sidewalk that runs in front of the college. The project proposes replacing that sidewalk with a multi-use path from Tate Street slash Rosetown Street to Michigan Avenue. Design is underway for this project and is expected to be complete in spring 2023 at an estimated cost of $2.3 million. All work will be done within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in fall 2023 at an estimated cost of $8.8 .8 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by August 1st, 12 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. All written comments will be responded to in writing after the public meeting. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447 085 one.
You may also contact the project manager directly by email at todd.long at dot.state.fl.us. That's T-O-D-D -D dot L-O-N-G at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. Or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386 943 5558 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 447-085-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Monday, August 1st, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447-085-1. Have a good evening.